Salve a tutti, Today's lesson is the last lesson in chapter 18 in Latin for the New Millennium, and it's fifth declension nouns. And I am so happy to report the last declension of nouns that you need to learn. Yay! <coughs> there are five declensions of nouns. You're learning the fifth one. You're done with nouns. We still have quite a bit of work, by the way, with pronouns. So a lot of the work that, a lot of the declining that we have been doing with nouns, you are now going to be doing with pronouns, um, starting next chapter in chapter 19. Okay, so a little information about fifth declension nouns. All fifth declension nouns are feminine except for uh, dies and the compound meridies. Dies can sometimes be feminine, sometimes be masculine. It's actually... Um, a word that sort of is a little conflated. Um, but just like the first declension is mostly feminine with some masculine, the fifth declension is mostly feminine with even fewer masculine than the first declension, as a matter of fact. Um, you can tell a noun is in the fifth declension because it will all they will all have a genitive singular ending of EI. From time to time, when a vowel comes before this E, this E will have a macron as well. Again, for the most part, macrons um, are not important yet. They will become more important, but you'll see what I mean. I'll give you an example of this uh, just right down here, actually. Uh, as always, you get the noun base for fifth declension nouns by removing the genitive ending from the genitive form. Um, so if your the genitive form is the second a form in the dictionary entry. And so if your genitive ending is EI, then you get your dictionary entry by removing the EI, okay? Okay, um, and so you can see that here. So you have the EI, actually, just like I was just saying, there's an I before this EI, so this E also has the macron. There you go. But to get the dictionary entry, we take the EI off, which means the dictionary entry for, I mean, excuse me, the noun base for race, rei is her, just the R. And for DAE, DAE is D. Okay, once you have this noun base, then you just need to add the fifth declension endings onto the noun base. Um, our endings are ace, a, a, m, a. Ace, Aram, Abus, Ace, Abus. And as you can tell, um, uh, like the fifth declension, um, there's a vowel that is sort of indicative of the fifth declension. So the fourth declension vowel is U, right? Everything has a U. Um, and for the fifth, it's E, okay? Um, you can also see that there's some similarities um, between other declensions that you've already learned. Um, so these endings really shouldn't throw you off too much. Um, anyway, the genitive and dative singular being the same is just like the first declension. Um, this ace ending in the plural, nominative and accusative. Third, the, the bus part of abus in the dative and ablative plural, the third. Um, this M ending exact same as third in the accusative singular. So there's actually, um, the pattern is fairly familiar, even if you have to kind of learn the new endings. Um, it's not really that bad. Um, okay, so let's look at a declension of one of our fifth declension nouns, uh, race, ray, e. Um, if we take off the ei, then our noun base is r, and we're going to add our ace, a, e, a, e, m, a, ace, arum, abus, ace, abus endings onto that with race, ray, e, ray, e, rem, ray, race, rarum, rabus, race, rabus. Okay? Now, remember, any declension adjective can describe any declension noun as long as they're in the same gender numbering case. So as an example, and you should write this in your notes, um, I'm going to have gravis grave, right? The third declension adjective meaning serious or important. Um, uh, describe race rei of the fifth declension. So race gravis, rei gravis, rei grawi, rem grawem, rei grawi. In the plural, race grawes, rerum grawium, rabus grawibus, race grawes, and rabus grawibus, okay, meaning the serious matter, the serious um, thing, okay? All right, well, I hope that you took good notes. I will look at them in class when I see you, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Well, I say.